Hello everyone! Welcome to Christmas in July! Pink Paper Peppermints is celebrating all month long and this is week three so you want to head on over to her shop and take advantage of all her awesome specials that she has going on. I actually made a Christmas tea and planner for this video and I used Home for the Holidays and his unspeakable gifts. I always feel like Christmas sneaks up on me each year. <laughs> so that's why I decided to make a planner for this year. I started off with a pocket for notes. I have lots of pockets for notes. <laughs> I tabbed off four areas for my holiday. And my first tab is traditions, decorations, and to-dos. I actually uh, love decorating, so I made spot, made sure I made spots for that. And I love printing Melissa's ephemera on sticker paper. I love how it just shows through, so I did, printed a bunch of them on sticker paper. And to hold my TNs in my book, I use clear stretchy jewelry making elastic. And here is some little flip out note pages that I stamped on uh, typing paper. I just thought they were so cute. <laughs> lots of lots of rooms to write notes, which I tend to write a lot of notes when I'm kind of planning and, and doing all that sorts of stuff. And here's a flip out page that I made out of a vintage word flashcard. And I'm gonna show you how to do that a little later. My next tab is the gifts and cards. I have also lots of pockets starting out with and then I got these pages from a vintage Christmas card list book I thought it was so funny because it starts like 19 so like 1990 1999 yeah I thought it was really fun and then I have a little place for my receipts because I'm always 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 losing those and I never can find them when I need them. <laughs> oh, I forgot actually a page. Uh, this is just some more place for notes and then extra gifts that I might have to give. And my favorite is my baking and cookies and stuff that I want to make. I just, I love, baking is pretty much my favorite during the holidays. Most of, I have more pockets of course, and then I have a menu. Uh, that is for Christmas Eve dinner and then brunch and then Christmas Day dinner and my most favorite things of course is I want to decide what kind of cookies I want to make and I got this page out of a vintage cookbook I thought it was really cute I made a little pocket for some note cards and I also made a little pocket for maybe some hot cocoa or coffee recipes that I might get most important shopping list <laughs> and of course more recipe cards or little papers I could write recipes on and then my next tab is lots of pockets lots lots of lots of pockets and uh, papers where I can make lists and uh, just yeah a lot of tucks uh, I took a doily and kind of wrapped it around the page and made a double tuck for my notes and whatnots Uh, let's see one last pocket and then my next tab is my creative stuff I have my little what's happening in July and I thought this was so cute it's a page from a, a kids book with look they're like using little paints more places for notes you cannot have too many places for notes that's for sure <laughs> now let's flip on over because we are gonna make a flip out page so I took a vintage flash card and I'm also going to use Melissa's washi tape printable. I'm going to measure out four spaces from the measurement of your page. So measured out my page and then I'm going to count four spaces because you're going to want to make four folds accordion style. And you're going to make sure that your paper is the width of your card or whatever that you're going to use and also your book page i guess so get your adhesive and then you're going to line up your card to where you want it or whatever you're using and make sure it's in the exact place that you want to use 
And I actually took a vintage uh, flash card and then I took a journaling card and I cut out the journaling card to the measurement of the flash card and I kind of glued it in there. I thought it would make a cute little answer, if you will. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to glue, use my glue or your adhesive and glue your card or whatever you're going to put as your flip out and you're going to be gluing quite a few of the accordion flaps together because you are going to get a flap or I guess a flip out page at that point but I actually had to do this <laughs> several times um, so that I could know like which flap to glue where and it was pretty funny but if you just follow your card or your whatever you're gonna you know use as your flip out and then just glue all the extra ones except for the one that you have uh, as your flip out so you'll see in a minute what I mean so we glue that one down and then there's also one more we need to glue down so we glue that one it makes it easy because there are two pieces of washi left on each side and when you start to kind of you know work it mechanically your flap or flip or whatever <laughs> then you can see so there we go so now we glued everything down and we have our flip you with our card or whatever you're going to use because <laughs> you can use whatever you need to and sometimes you're going to need to trim off like I kind of had a little edge so I trim that off and then I am going to uh, glue it to my page and I decided I didn't really want this on the white page my little uh, schedule so I took it off and then I glued down my little flip page to the white side because you and you kind of want to work out you know how you want your page to flip before you you know glue it down um, because sometimes you're going to want it to flip the other way or you're going to want it to face a certain way and um, also like this one I had just a tiny bit little crooked so when I went to glue it down uh, it was a little bit crooked but then I just as you'll see in a minute I just kind of pressed it down a little bit more firmly towards uh, the binding and then it then it was fine but see I'm not gonna I'm not like a real a uh, critical person. I don't need to have, you know, line straight or measurements. I don't do really numbers. So I just think it's more fun that way for me to just kind of, kind of do it on the fly, <laughs> if you will. And so I am going to adhere my little schedule to the red page. And then I am all complete with my book. Yay! Well, I hope that you enjoyed my Christmas planner and we will see you next time.